It's the 1950s. Mm. Mm -hmm. You're in a club. Yep. I think they call it a nightclub back then, right? You're sipping a cocktail, maybe a Why gin and tonic, happening? cause we're in the club. We're listening to we're the smooth some crafts, perhaps? sounds of jazz. Maybe mm -hmm. Frank Sinatra's over in the corner. All blue eyes. You never know. Uh, you feel like you've gone back in time. Oh yeah, okay. the 50s, if I, hand to God. That's if the I one you wanna go back era, to. That's where I wanna go. Well, our next guest is gonna make you feel like you did just that. Take a listen. There were questions in the eyes of other dancers as we floated over the floor. There were questions, but my heart knew all the answers and perhaps a few things more. Now in a cottage I mean, holy smokes. I, I'm ready to talk you. Now, I'm supposed to say she made her mark on TikTok, but she made her mark on me and the rest of humanity. Yes. She racked up more than six million, million likes. With an M. Yes, she's going on tour, sharing her timeless voice with the world as well as she should. Please welcome Stella Cole. Oh my gosh, thank you so oh, much for being here. I, you. I love that we're in the jazz club. That's right. We are. We're in the club. A little bit of yes. Where's, the, where's my yes? The snaps are so right. <laughs> I, don't know, I just I just felt it come over me. Right. We set the scene. We Look at the have. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, You're on the marquee. My name. Your that name's on the marquee. Nice. Your name and wow. lights. That's right. The name on everybody's lips is gonna be <laughs> Stella. Cole. Stella. Okay. <laughs> when did you learn? I mean, you are very young right now. But when did you learn that you had a unique voice? Did somebody have to tell you because you're so young? I mean, how, how do you even realize these things? Yeah. Well, I grew up on old movie musicals like yep. The Sound of Music, Singing in the Rain. Meet Me St. Louis, yeah, all of those. I'm obsessed with them. Classics. Yeah, but since I was like three years old, that's what I've just loved. I've loved that more than anything. And so I've just been seeing this music truly my whole life and didn't really know I could make a career out of it until pretty recently. Well, <laughs> you've got a gift, girlfriend. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Did you come from a, mu a musical family? Mm. No. Were people singing, playing instruments? Not at all. She's no. the outlier. Not you at all. There's, there's, one, there's not always the one among us. Oh, my God. Oh, well, really? Yeah. yeah, my grandma sings in, in her church choir, but that's about okay. the extent of it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is, I'm re-examining my whole life. I know. Now we mentioned you have more than six million, six million likes on TikTok. Yeah. Michael Buble and Megan Trainer among them. How, I mean, how does it feel to have the heavy hitters like that chime in on your skills? I mean, totally surreal. When I, when I saw that Michael Buble had reposted me on his Instagram, I was actually on a bus here in the city and I was like, no. I, I screamed a little bit yeah. on the public bus. And nobody better than I because yes, it's New York. Exactly. She's nobody on the cares Sound Force 14. <laughs> and she's like, ah! I was like, oh my God, I called my mom. I was losing my mind. I mean, yeah, those people are people that I look up to so much. So it's just totally crazy. It's very interesting, too, because Michael Buble, I remember when he first came on the scene, yeah. everyone was like, oh my God, it's Frank Sinatra. Right. Like, he was... Like when we heard your, when I heard, admittedly, I said this already, I didn't listen to a video until this morning we had a pre-show meeting and I was like, is that Rosemary Clooney? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh she's, my God. She's like, one of my very the favorites. Goat. Uh, the goat. So you are kind of like, I know you're Stella Catherine Cole, mm -hmm. but you are like this icon reincarnate, yeah. a la Michael Buble. Yeah. So that's just to me, I'm like, that's a sign right yeah. now. What met. a huge compliment. <laughs> thank you I'm so saying, much. I don't lie. I don't tell lies. <laughs> well, she does I not. I appreciate it. She does not. I thank you. You're very busy. You just sang the anthem, or not just, but I suppose last year you sang the anthem for a Rangers game over at the Garden. That was actually like two weeks ago. It was, they were or in pre two weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, it was a preseason. We're yeah. Yeah. the sporty spice. Listen. Oh, yeah. So, that's oh, awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, how is it different singing in a venue like this <laughs> than singing in a controlled environment, posting your videos? Yeah, I mean, it's honestly a lot more fun when there are people there. It feels right. a little silly sometimes, wow. just me in my room and the phone, you know. Right. You really get so much energy, especially in a room like Madison Square Garden. Oh Not a, what a, a building like Madison it is Square a Garden. It's a garden, yeah, a exactly. temple. Yeah, exactly. That's, you know, always been a dream venue and is for like every singer, but I, I never imagined I'd I'd be there so soon. It was such a dream come true. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so real talk here. Do you take voice lessons every day? What do you do to hone your instruments? Because yeah. I have you singing until like a, a very, Tony very, Bennett. very, very, very long time. <laughs> well into and your I'm 90s. And I'm so curious yeah. about what you, what the artist does to maintain the integrity of the voice. Sure, that's a great question. I work with a voice teacher um, once a week, once every couple of weeks. 
Uh, her name is Joan Later. Joan, Thanks, if you're Joan. watching this, I love you. She's <laughs> excellent. We um, love you too, Joan. <laughs> but she gives me vocal exercises that I need to do. Um, if I'm doing something like this, singing only a couple hours after I've woken up, then you know those vocal exercises are very important. Hydration is very mm. important. And you know, when you're a singer, your body is sort of your instrument, so you've got to take good care of yourself. You know, there are certain things. I can't eat dairy. I can't mm. can't drink too much. Got to take care of your Take care the of the core instrument. Yeah. So what was your warm up this morning? <laughs> um, a bunch of a bunch of crazy stuff that can some you, core can you guy. Show, can you show us? One? Um, like we'll some try. of them are like, whoop, zoom, whoop, zoom. That's why I'm at sports born. and not. <laughs> Body cell. You're gonna be warming up the stars. Huh? You're gonna be warming up. I'm sorry to all you're the A1s in the house. <laughs> now you're also working on an album. Is this going to be your debut, your first? It's my debut studio album. Yes. What are we gonna get? We're we gonna give it a little bit of old, a little bit of new. Is it gonna be all you original? Like what? What is it? It's a little bit of old, a little bit of new. Okay. Um, I am writing some songs, but none of that yet on the first album. Okay. Uh, okay fine. Yeah. It, the album's actually finished. We recorded it this summer. It's not gonna be out until next year, but okay. It was. I'm, I'm so excited yeah, for people to hear city. it. I now, can't wait. Now, call me there crazy. I Again, I am a neophyte to this business. <laughs> you seem very overdressed <laughs> for singing in a studio. Were we because doing she's some Rose Van Clooney reincarnate? She, yeah, what's happening? This was when I was doing a, a, some video recording. Okay. Oh, so sweet. I wanted, you know, wearing the gown is so You're much fun. Any excuse? Why not? Why not? <laughs> like, feel, it gets you in the mood. You I know? feel like any one of those long cigarettes and a pair of gloves you know what and saying? a little cafe bistro table. I forgot right. my long <laughs> cigarette at home this morning, but I wish I would know. Man, you're a rat. <laughs> I don't know. I, that you're sounded like something fake. to say. You're, you're a natural. Fake. You're in the 50s. Let's be a lady tonight. Yeah. Uh, and then, as if, but wait, there's more. You're going on tour. You're about to go back out on tour. I am, yes. You've had numerous shows here in the city. We apparently were asleep under a rock somewhere. Shame on us. Shame on us. <laughs> so you're headed somewhere nearby. Yes. Soon ish. Yes. Please enlighten. Yeah, well, I'm about to go out on my first headlining uh, Europe tour, which is very exciting. The yes. headliner. I, yes, can you believe? Europe. I I'm so excited, yeah. But once I get back from that, I'm doing a lot of Christmas stuff in the States. I'll be in Philly on December 20, or 15th and 16th. Okay. And then I'm back in New York at Dizzy's at Lincoln Center on January 14th. The okay. day after my birthday. Oh, so, she, for, happy birthday to you. Thank you. Uh, Dizzy's, done. I've never been, but it sounds oh, like it's a perfect, perfect a first foray. Wonderful venue. All right, we've, yeah. we're done yapping. They didn't I, I'm not, but we're getting a hard rap. <laughs> they came for you. Yeah. So would you mind playing us off? I would love to and sing. And you're going to, she's going to play us. Tell us what you're singing. This is going to be um, The Nearness of You, one of my favorite oh, standards. Oh, my God. She's still my beating heart. Miss Stella, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> It's not the pale moon that excites me That thrills and delights me Oh no It's just the nearness of you It isn't your sweet conversation that brings this sensation. Oh no, it's just the nearness of you.
of paper and you a, want and a sharpie. Graph? I think nowadays they take selfies. They take selfies. With their All right, I'll have to get my works. Stella. Stella Cole, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It was so much fun. Remind folks again great. where they can get tickets and follow you and all the business. Yes, my everything for social media, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, it's all at Stella K. Cole. Um, and the ticket link is on all of my social media for Philly or Europe, wherever you are. Well, Dizzy's. I might be going to Europe again. I think we should go <laughs> to I'm Europe. absolutely going to Dizzy's. Yes. All I've right. Never been. Well, thank we you so much. We appreciate you, madam. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, now, this is so much fun. What a don't nice, go, relaxing don't way to end Tuesday. Don't go and get so super famous winning Grammys and Peabody's and People's oh, Choice oh, Awards goodness. that you forget the little people, okay? <laughs> I come would never forget about you, When too. they decide to make a movie about you, come back oh. and visit as well, okay? <laughs> All right.